So now I'm going to introduce uh, Michal Ovshe, uh, who is uh, based in Maribor, and uh, he did a very interesting uh, revival of uh, industrial site. Uh, to be more precise, he actually revived the uh, uh, railway watchtower uh, that became actually a concert venue. Uh, Miha is uh, uh, he, uh, he's a, an architect, uh, but he did a lot of uh, different kind of things. Uh, but uh, in Maribor and I guess in Slovenia as well, he's quite known also probably internationally as a do-it-yourself promoter and music events organizer. And this is actually the way he, uh, he kind of uh, within this revival of uh, the tower, he actually connected uh, both this uh, architectural background and uh, concert uh, uh, kind of uh, moment with it. So uh, Miha, please, uh, you have the screen. Yeah, okay, hello everyone. Uh, good evening, it's very nice to be here. Thank you, uh, uh, Irena, for the invitation. So, uh, do you hear me well? It's so quiet. Do you hear me? Yes? Yes, we okay. hear you, but we are muted, so we didn't respond. Okay, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. okay, so this is, this is the place. Uh, uh, it got our uh, attention because it's quite an attractive uh, uh, object. It's, it's, uh, it's a railways infrastructure, actually. It was made by the uh, Austro-Hungarian monarchy over 100 years ago. And it, it was actually used for also for monitoring uh, as a watchtower and also for the, uh, to do the switching of the, of the rails, if you understand me correctly. Uh, I, uh, we also managed to get some uh, original, uh, original overview of original plans of this object uh, in the archives uh, in Vienna, but I just couldn't found it, I'm sorry. Uh, so we quite systematically uh, approach this object, but since it's 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 close, it's one meter away from the from the tracks. It's almost impossible to be used for the public uh, uh, use. But I was somehow lucky. Uh, I did some favors to some ladies, some bureaucrats, and this is how I could actually use it for myself. And then they let me uh, use it also for the others to present and so on. But there were some uh, some ob obstacles that we uh, must uh, uh, go. One of them is that uh, railways are based in Ljubljana. So Ljubljana is a completely different world uh, uh, compared to Maribor. You know, Maribor is more relaxed. Uh, and so, you know, you, ca you can get things, uh, you can get to people easier, easily, uh, more easy than in Ljubljana. So I, I got the keys of the object, you know, before I got the papers for it. So they, they helped me uh, uh, because I had to pay the rent. I wanted to pay the rent. I didn't want to squat it as it, it used to be with, these kind of objects uh, in Slovenia, ex Yugoslavia, ex uh, you know uh, Eastern Bloc. Uh, so I wanted to to rent it officially, to use it as a club, but as a private club because of all the papers and everything that needs to be done if you do the concerts. You know, it it, it just enthusiasm goes away once you start uh, you know dealing with papers and money and so on. So we started uh, in 2009, and then for 10 years we use it quite regularly. Now we just use it for 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 friends have fun and some bands uh, that, that practice in. Uh, so this is it. This is the original picture from uh, over 110 years ago. Uh, uh, pl please share the screen. Yes, yes. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. This is the first slide, so no big deal. Uh, check again. So I'm sorry. Uh, okay, on the share screen. Click. Okay, is it okay now? My internet is yes, it's good. Good. it's okay. Okay, so you see the first, you see the first slide. Okay, then let's go to the next. Uh, so we did we did kind of research. So we found some pictures. This one on the left is from the Second World War, from some archives, and this one on the right is uh, maybe 50 years ago. And then the object wasn't used, I think, you know, for over 30 years now. Uh, and uh, excuse me, I have a dog here. Okay, I'm back. I'm sorry. 
so uh, the, this is the other object. There were three objects like this in Maribor. Now only our object, it's our uh, number three, uh, remains. But they would already uh, erase it if uh, if if it wasn't for us, uh, because we got uh, somehow we managed to uh, to put it in the official uh, official archives and it's. Uh, you know, uh, with, with the with the authority that deals with this uh, kind of objects, uh, they actually put it in the in the in the national heritage, uh, uh, into the national heritage. So so it's it's kind of a national monument, and it's uh, it it keeps. Uh, so we kept it. Um, okay, uh, then this is how it looks from the inside. Uh, this is the upper floor. So we use the whole object uh, on uh, in the in the ground floor. We are just using it for. Uh, for a bar or some kind of bar uh, on upstairs, the whole object is open, so we use it for uh, for the concerts and other events. Uh, so this is how it looks like. You know, it's 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 completely connected to the railways. Uh, once on one occasion, we even had uh, we even had a concert in the in the cabin of a, of a locomotive. I don't know in the you know in the machinery cabin uh, because it was it is it is it is so tall that we actually made an eye contact and in the middle of the night the train because it was a uh, this line is a service. Uh, this is a service track, uh, the closest to our uh, venue. And then we communicate somehow, and the people got they let people into the cabin, and they were dancing there. And so uh, many, many, many uh, interesting things happen in such a you know uh, interesting place. Of course, it, it provokes people. Okay, so this is how it looks during the day. So we started the concert immediately. Maybe maybe uh, for three for three uh, months. We we uh, uh, we installed electricity and water and plumbings because nothing was there. They used the objects for uh, for uh, for uh, uh, they, they they kept coal inside, so it was all debris and it was completely it was really bad. It looked bad inside, so we we cleaned it uh, and so on, and so we could use it better. So this is how it looks inside, just to have a feeling with this narrow stairs, which is quite interesting. So the space is really is really attractive, you know. And then you see the the, the opening screens towards the towards the the, the railways towards the tracks. So trains pass by, and the whole place just shakes. You know, it's like an earthquake. So it's really <laughs> uh, it's really uh, attractive to be there, you know, uh, to uh, to visit the place. So I'm just going through some slides. These are the first concerts that we started with, and then you know it. It gained some popularity. We didn't want it to get get too popular, you know, because of many reasons. We we don't make money with it. We we don't uh, we didn't have any funds. We didn't want to have any funding to be free with the with the you know with the uh, program. So it was it was a kind of campaign. Uh, you know, it was it wasn't scheduled because I'm also a person like that. I don't like schedules, you know. So it was just open when every any any good band passed by and could have a stopover. Then then we just use the opportunity. Uh, but you know, we put them in hotels. Some sometimes they slept in, with our, uh, in our places. We always uh, gathered money for them, maybe even more than they would get in other clubs. So we were really, really fair about it, and it was all based on donations. So we didn't use any papers. There were no ticketing. Uh, we we didn't have you know uh, uh, the tailors or or bodyguards or anything. So everything we uh, we gathered all the fundings, all the all the, all the donations uh, we gave to to the bands. So. It was really a fair, fair deal, you know. We just enjoyed it. So this is some of some of the other concerts. Uh, just to have a feeling of the atmosphere, we had we had in these ten years. I I, I found one uh, paper uh, that I could only uh, within 2013 and 2018 there were more than I think 90, 80 or 90 concerts. So way over 100 we have here, but only quality and good things. We said, you know. Uh, there was a word going around that anything that happens in in this tower in Stolp uh, Three is 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 good quality. It's uh, you know it's worth seeing. So we didn't have to actually have any promotion. It was just from mouth to mouth, you know. But then maybe something on Facebook. Then people started talking about it. No, this is how it looks like. It's a really, really nice place. These are some old pictures, some newer pictures. We had some different events. Once they ever that we you know. Uh, it's 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 a railways um, corridor, you know. It's a railways uh, state. It's 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 di it's disconnected uh, to to the real policy of the state. You know, it's a different world. So whatever we did here, we always uh, uh, we always counted on people from the railways. You know, uh, these people working here, they helped us a lot. They were they were there for us. You know, if 
if we did it the official way, we couldn't even manage to get the plumbing in or whatever, because official way we cannot, you cannot do it because it's, it's, it's the internal, in, uh, you know, internal infrastructure of railways. But so this is why we did it on this, you know, personal, <laughs> you know, uh, level. So anything could be done this way. Otherwise, we do, we could do it. So some, sometimes we, we needed the uh, we needed uh, uh, a train, you know, like this or the machine. The the, the this, this one is made for uh, servicing. And we said, if we can we get this machine in the night, you know, we would need it to, to project on it because of the atmosphere. And so we, we, we used, it, it took us a day, but we got it somehow. So we could use it for the attraction you know, of the event. Okay, so then we moved out and did some other events uh, because we had some connections with the railways, which were quite good. So they let us do it, do concerts on the train line. So. Uh, we said, okay, let's meet in Stolp, and then we go on the train, and then we go to the next town and back. Some people will uh, will will get on the train, and then we come back and have another concert uh, or after party in the Stolp. You know? So this is how we did it because Stolp is very close to the main railway station. Uh, and then you know the other one. So this is also kind of uh, industrial heritage. You know, the trains, our trains are very very old. They used to be very old. You know, so it was a special a special uh, event. If you if you put a concert on the train. And it's, it's also quite, you know, technically it's, it's easy to manage, uh, you know, you, you have only two doors, the train is closed, so it's, it, it can be used like a club and the trains in the, in the night are, are, all, are empty all the time, you know, they just go here and there and nobody enters them, you know, so we, we just used one of those wagons that, that were empty and we, we got the permission, so we did. So the other one is on the left, on the River Drava, we also did some concerts on the left. Okay, this is, this is one, okay, then, then we got some media attention, which we didn't really want to have, but okay, we used the opportunity to have some nice pictures or something because we didn't, we were not organized to, you know, to, to, to do the, the, the photo shootings or whatever. So these are some, uh, some uh, newspaper, okay, whatever. And then uh, we also did some concerts on the uh, main uh, train station. This is architecturally quite an interesting uh, object. It cannot be seen here, but it's, it's really a nice, uh, nice uh, uh, building. So we use the main all um, to have a concert in in the night because it's empty all the time. You know, it was it was like like it's, it's a transition period. You know, so the trains the train uh, lines still uh, still don't you know serve the public as they should. But it's it's getting better to put it this way. And also we are losing this old patina of everything. You know, so this is the concert for the we did the, the humanitarian concerts for the immigrants. You know, in 2014 or 15. I don't know. So. Uh, we use some okay whatever okay let's further we get some media attention and but then again we, we like to keep it uh, simple and uh, you know and uh, and and cozy and domestic so then we got back to, to our place so uh, that's it okay this is some atmosphere i don't know and then you know we we kind of provoke people uh, because of our our place they, they they, they got attracted and they got somehow uh, interested in and when they went around they send us some pictures you know there's another you know uh, tower in Zagreb this one on the left there's another in Sisak there's another on the right this one is also in Croatia somewhere there's another this one is in Bologna we call it you know hotel uh, tower three you know, this one on the right on the bottom so actually we we somehow we uh, you know we got people into the story and we said okay maybe we we could also do a network of this Places they are not really used well. It's a problem of, of course, of security and everything because it's on the tracks. But you know, they are really attractive uh, places. So you know, if we connect it, uh, we connect it with different railways through the countries and with the European project, it could be quite interesting. Let's go from place to place with the train. You know, we can have concert on the train, and then we can have a stop over and go see see something. You know, some cultural event or whatever in the in the places like this, and then we go to the next to the next town, you know, to the next event. It could be quite interesting because the, some of those still exist. They are not used, but they are they are getting you know uh, torn apart, or you know. So this is how we could pre preserve it in a way to put this kind of a kind of uh, events in. So this is how it looked. How it looked three years ago. They renovated completely the railways. So these objects around that you see, they are not there anymore. These objects, uh, they broke, they broke it all down because of other interests and because of renovating um, infrastructure. So this is just when the works began. I don't know, it's two or three years ago. So we, we didn't really know if, if they will preserve the the uh, you know the the tower because they can always avoid it. You know there are always some some parts that you can avoid the uh, 
uh, you know, the law and, uh, you know, if you have enough money like this, the infrastructural companies do, they can always tear it apart if they want to. But luckily, luckily, because of some bureaucracy and because of some ladies in the railways that actually worked for us, to put it this way, uh, put some effort to it, uh, we kept it. So this is how it looks today. These are pictures just from today. You see, they, they did everything is new, everything, all the tracks, all the rails are new. Uh, everything is new. So they also did this uh, shields, you know, this is uh, some shields because there are buildings behind it. And, you know, they just, you know, they, they, they break it apart with stock, you know, they just, uh, otherwise they would, they, would be, they would be happy to, to tear it apart, you know, to, to break it down. So this is it. I don't know, there are so many things to say. I hope I wasn't too long and you have some, some questions. I'm here. Mm. Thank you, Micha. Yes, please, uh, Bojena. Uh, do you organize only concerts or some other kind of programs too? There, there were some other types that, uh, that people, people actually uh, uh, invite us or, or, or they wanted to have in and we let them if they fit into the place, you know. It, this is not, this, we call it, the, it's a trash space, you know. You cannot not do uh, anything in it. We had some, some uh, they, they had some, uh, uh, Little, little theatrical uh, things inside, some movie things, some doc documentary movie, mu uh, movie uh, kind of uh, festivals. But it was only one part of it because I, I didn't really want. I just had it for fun, and I, I, I put so much effort because I was mostly I was alone, you know, organizing, promoting everything, mm. and cleaning and everything. You know, there's a lot of things that need to be done, and you know, uh, buying drinks and so on. Uh, so I didn't really want to to, to be too open. You know, I didn't want people to talk around too much. You know, you can always have an inspection of whatever kind of you know they can they can actually uh, you know <laughs> they can yes. you know they can do anything. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, but we have. I uh, have a question. Events. Yeah, sorry. We also have Pecha Kucha event. If you know some pictures mm -hmm, of mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I know. So people actually wanted to get there, but no, it's it's always you know I like to keep it to have things under control. Otherwise, you know they can escalate, and they, I have. Mm -hmm. More and more problems. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Irfan. Uh, thank you very much. This was so interesting to hear about this project. But I'm so curious about. Um, I don't. I don't know. I mean, um, you said the space was not uh, squatted. It was so you you pay the rent for it. Yeah. And uh, do you still pay the rent continuously? I mean, how is this feasible? And how 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 is this commercially um, sustainable actually yeah it's, it's sustainable you know it's it's very low it's a very low uh, budget uh, that actually my friends who practice their three bands they are paying it you know it's something over 100 euros to be honest you know it's 50 square meters and uh, one of the problems is that uh, i couldn't compensate the cost so I, this is why i did, didn't renovate it you know i just put plumbings and everything that was needed in with my own money so they they because of because of the headquarters in Uganda, they don't understand. Uganda is a different story, you know. Uganda is very expensive, you know. There's a lot, of, you know, uh, you know what happens in big cities. So uh, Maribor is different. So we couldn't uh, make them understand with these ladies, you know. And they said, okay, you have to pay. Otherwise, we can tear it down. We don't care. So, uh, and I, I also want to have the papers and want to be uh, official, you know, because you know there are many places like this, you know, Metelko and Uganda, I don't know, Pekar and Maribor. They were squatted, you know, how it goes in this transition period, man. Eh? Uh, and I, I wanted to do it a different way. So. Thank you, Miha. Uh, we also have a question from uh, Sanja Popov Leban for everybody. So, what are sustainable models? What does commercial use mean? So, in a sense, Miha, you already somehow tackled this moment of sustainability with keeping it low cost. But I also want to say that, like, for example, I know Stop 3, it, it really became a reference, oh, there is going to be a good concert there. In a sense, you don't need to know the band, but you already knew, ah, it's going to, it's like, it's, it, it, it really became a brand. And it was really interesting because it was like, in a way, with, a, with not a lot of, I don't know, branding or whatever but on the other hand there was really a quality so it was it, it really stand for something so yeah, thank you for this <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
so I don't know, uh, this is the question of what is sustainability. I think also it's going to be interesting to hear from Irfan on this. So maybe we could uh, leave this question for the end, uh, like after we hear also Bojena and Irfan speaking. Uh, 